All right, guys, I'm gonna tell you about what I got in my toolbox, mainly for off-road recovery gear, but I got a few extra things that I carry. First, we're gonna start with straps. I get four inch straps, four inches wide, about 30 foot long. This one's all tore up, I gotta replace it, but this is, I think a 30,000 pound brake strength, like 10,000 pounds for safe. And this is what I, this is, you know, the main type of strap I use. I have, Three of them that are 30 foot long by four inches. One that's a 20 foot by four inches. Then I got three of these. They're called tree saver straps. These are for winching with where you can wrap them around a tree to hook onto it. They're eight foot long by three inches. I think they're good for 20,000 pounds or something like that. Plenty strong for what I use it for. And I got three of these. Next, when you got straps, you're gonna have to have a way to hook them up together. I use these clevises, screw pin clevis or shackle, whatever you want to call it. Three quarter inch size, very strong. Their rigging equipment is technically what this is supposed to be used for, but works great for off-road recovery. I got five of those three quarter inch size ones, actually six of those, sorry. I got one on here, six of them. The next size down, I got two of them, they're 5 8 size. Um, remember these pin ones? I don't like these. I bent this one and spread apart a lot wider. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's spread apart. These screw pin ones, they hold themselves together when you're yanking on them. I don't, I don't recommend this kind for off recovery. This is the way to go. I've got this a cluster hook so if I'm winching I can hook into holes on the frame to pull something sideways if it's stuck in a bad spot but to rub up against a tree or something this works great and uh, if you need to tie something onto a trailer you can get these to chain vehicles onto trailers with so they work good for that too so this thing you just saw it a couple minutes moments ago it's a receiver it goes into your normal receiver hitch so you can hook your strap up to the, to the hitch of your truck and have it a closed loop system so it's not going to come undone. I love this thing. I will never use a receiver like normal hitch, like a ball hitch to throw your strap over ever again. This is 100% the way to go. Then I got J hooks. These things are awesome. You can use them for a lot of things hook on underneath to whatever you got to hook on to in two different spots so you're not going to turn your frame and you're not going to bend a frame as easily or turn it into like a trapezoid. It's also got chain hooks on it. You can hook it on to another chain to extend it or it's got this, I guess this thing's called a bridle where it's got the two chains on it and uh, it hooks together so you take a clevis and you can put on a strap or chain or whatever you got to do. This right here, I don't use this very much. I only use this for light things like, I've got an ice house that I move around. And I'll use this with it to have some extra length and I'm trying to get it off the lake. But this is some synthetic winch rope. I think it's 10,000 pounds braking strength. So it's not very strong for pulling a vehicle out with other than a four wheeler. But I have that there for an extra extension for my winch. Well, next thing you know here, Got some come-alongs. These are great. You don't need electricity if your winch breaks or if you're trying to pull something sideways and winch at the same time, you can use this. I got three of them. They're 10,000 pound come-alongs. I use the crap out of them. I've done a ton of work with those things. They're all around good to have. Entry level equipment for recovery. This right here, it's broken right now. It's missing a couple of pins, but this is my high lift jack. This is for like lifting things up if you need to put a piece of wood underneath of your tires or something to get them out of the ruts and get some ground cleaners going again. Uh, these are great. You can also, it's got these holes in it here. You can use this thing as a come along by hooking a piece of chain into it, tying it around something with a strap. You can actually use this to crank yourself forward. Yeah, you've only got four feet versus the come along that's probably got 10 feet, 
but it still will work great and pull a lot. I have this. This is for pulling a bumper. You can pull up on a bumper with this, this hook, or really anything. It just goes on the end and attaches into there, you know, like that. This right here, you put on the high lift jack. And this right here is for lifting up on your tire. You can get underneath into your wheel and hook it in your wheel. This is what this is for. It's got this rubber to push up against anything else so you don't scratch anything. And I've never used these two attachments yet, but I bought them thinking I'd use them. I'll eventually have to use them, so it's a good thing to have in the toolbox. Extra pins for hitches, gotta have that. You never know when your buddy's not gonna have one and you're trying to pull him out. It can be a bad day. When you're in the middle of nowhere and you're on a tight trail and you gotta make some room to hook onto something, hatchet. I got a machete. I can't tell you how many times I've had to limb some branches off of a tree before I can hook up to it because it's just too thick to get back into it and get a strap around it. Absolutely need that. Winter time, grain scoop shovel. When you're digging out of snow, this thing will save your life. Maybe not save your life, but you get it. Extra oil, extra power steering fluid, and I've even got some two cycle oil in there for chainsaws, things like that. You gotta have extra fluids. Otherwise, well, you're gonna be driving somewhere to get fluids or you're stuck walking. Boots, absolute must have. I just keep an old pair of boots in my toolbox. Most of the time when I go out, I have boots, but dry boots you need them now for winching stuff snatch blocks gotta have these they double or almost double your pulling capacity and these two here and this one here are strong enough for with my winch and it almost doubles your pulling capacity so if you're gonna have a winch on a vehicle or a come along you absolutely need some snatch blocks then I got chains here. I got two 10 foot chains. And I've got, I think this is a 14 foot chain. That's 5 16 I think this is 3 8 inch chain or something like that. Quarter inch. I don't, I, I'm not too sure on the numbers right now, but plenty strong chain. I believe 3 8 inch. And then I got a little foldable camp shovel here. So you can start digging things out in the mud because the grain scoop shovel won't won't do you very good in the mud. But that's what I have. It all fits in this toolbox of mine. And it, it goes good. Here's an overview of all that on the table here. It all works out. And then I always have a normal hitch on my truck. So there's the overview for you. I'll show you my winch shortly here. Alright guys, so this part of the video, this will be the part to end it. This is my Warren M12000 winch. This is my must have for off-road recovery, especially if you're going out on your own. This winch will pull 12,000 pounds and I haven't maxed it out ever. It's got the nice release on it so you can do free rolling. Very smooth. It came when I bought it used. I bought the winch used. It came with this big metal bracket for it with the paralete already built in and it I love it, but the thing weighs about 150 pounds, so getting it on and off of this truck is not an easy task, especially by yourself. It goes into a normal receiver, just like your trailer hitch would. I just have it wired right into the battery, and basically, you just take the controller, plug it right in. That 
That's it. That's all there is to it. A free roll. That's all you gotta do for free roll. Flip it back over. Comment if you'd like me to do an in-depth video on what each piece of equipment, like how to use each piece of equipment that I have. I can do a how-to video on any of that stuff. I'd be more than happy to do it. I actually find these videos very fun to make. So, thank you for watching and have a good one. Another thing I forgot to mention, I've got some walkie-talkies. They've got a pretty good range on them. I think I paid about 100 bucks for the two of them. And you need these when you're doing winching operations or trying to pull somebody out. You got to know that they're in gear and neutral and reverse. Whatever they're doing, you absolutely need to be able to communicate with each other. So these are huge. Your cell phone will work for only when you have service. So if you're way out back, these will work great. CB radios will work great too. Whatever your preference is, just make sure whoever you're off-roading with has some sort of a radio that you can communicate with or some means of communication.